Hello everyone, this is Josh, aka The Biscuit Eater, and I wanted to welcome you all to my brand new channel. Now, I think I should be open right up front. This isn't the first intro video I've put out for this channel. Indeed, I've had a few false starts, as I think every content creator does in their YouTube infancy. But in my case, it came as a result of having to very suddenly and unexpectedly move everything I own into a far more cramped and contained environment. That drama is now done, and I'm slowly adjusting to this new life, new home, and I'm once again going to be able to look at what sort of content I'm going to be providing here. That said, let's get on with the intro, shall we? All I need is me, myself, and I. Thank you for sticking around. This channel, named after my online handle, The Biscuit Eater, is going to be primarily a video gaming channel. Here I will focus mostly on Let's Plays, and should I eventually move on to live stream gameplay, it'll also be the primary VOD home, at least for the foreseeable future. That said, you may have noticed that my avatar is from Minecraft, and may even be asking yourself why. I can hear the confusion already in the comments below. One sick amen. Isn't it too late to try to coast in on the Minecraft resurgence? Isn't that all just a flash in the pan once the trend has been noted and copied by others? Very likely. Minecraft is, however, the one game that has taken up the vast proportion of my personal gaming time. And while it will not be the focus of this channel, I do plan to do some profiles on various multiplayer servers, both beta and non, as well as the occasional casual and honestly poorly played mod pack. The main focus, however, is going to be offering up odd and unique playthroughs of games, both new and old, both AAA and indie, that I really enjoy. Most I likely will have already played through at least once, but would love to do another playthrough of. Most I intend to go to the less played routes with, when things aren't strictly on rails. When given moral choices, I'll try the less traveled route, at least for me, choosing less virtuous, more roguish options, or even options that might otherwise be considered poorly played. Heaven knows I'm really good at that. I won't pretend. I am a filthy casual. I'm the guy who, on those rare occasions when I play team multiplayer games, gets yelled at to get good. But I enjoy them. I truly believe I can be entertaining, and perhaps I can give you something you wouldn't otherwise get from a more polished YouTube Let's Player. All music not contained within the games I play themselves will be of the royalty-free variety and downloaded from the wonderful folks at Audio Library Plus here on YouTube. You can find links to those in the description of each video. The intro and outro visuals will be gleaned from panzoid.com until I'm able to find a better option. For now, we're just going to play it safe from a content and rating standard. Most of what I will be doing is going to be marginally edited gameplay with as little time skipping as humanly possible. I intend to keep my language as family friendly as possible, but won't force my games to do the same, so beware. There may be the occasional demonetizable word here and there. Now next, let's focus on who I am. Put as succinctly as possible, I'm Josh. Online, I'm known as The Biscuit Eater. Now, I'm not new to YouTube, and it won't take much scouring to find my old vlog content if you really want to do some scouring. I'm not ashamed of it, but over a decade stands between the two of us, and we really don't resemble each other much anymore. In the real world, I'm a salaried man, just working to support myself, my breathing, eating, and water drinking habit. YouTube has served me as a sort of creative outlet, a means to share a little fraction of myself outside the person I am behind the desk. As such, a little bit of myself is always going to bleed into this, but much of what I'm here to do is just to play games, offer my opinions on them, and hopefully entertain along the way. I don't know how often I'll be able to jump after that new game eyeballs factor that many in the sphere gravitate towards, but with a Steam library of nearly 1,500 games, I've got plenty of options for content already. I don't know yet if there's any room to monetize this, but all cards are on the table. It's not something I'm averse to, although I'll likely go Patreon if that's the route I choose to take in the future. We'll see. Now, next let's talk about my immediate plans. This is always dangerous, and it has been what has tripped me up in previous iterations of this intro video. Previously, I've indicated plans for this channel and have aborted those plans soon after. However, I'm already partway through recording content for this first series, so I know that I can at least share this. I did pick up The Outer Worlds, as you can see in the video here, on my PC. I will note via the Microsoft Store because I'll be darned if I give Epic any of my cash right now. And have finished a complete 
virtuous playthrough on it, and I decided to go through a round two, this time playing a rather dumb, brutish Tool of the Corporations run through. So keep an eye out for that. Beyond that, I have a few Minecraft mod packs I've got my eyes on, although I'm looking to see if anything new comes out in the near future. I do keep my eyes on Chosen Architect, Zine, Captain Sparkles, and System Collapse for packs I might have some fun with, so keep your eyes out for that as well. A lot of my personal focus in Minecraft is in Skyblock and Skyblock style packs, so that's pretty much what you can expect here. What I can promise is this. I know that one of the frustrations that is commonly heard from viewers, myself included, is those times when content providers abandon the series midway through without any warning or explanation. This is something that I will not do, and I encourage you all to hold me to this. If I fail to let you know why a series stopped, call me on it. Sometimes a game will just be boring, or the playthrough won't work, the mod pack will be foobar, or people will just get bored with the series. And it won't be fun for anyone if I continue it. However, if I do choose to drop something, I should at least provide a this is the end sort of video. I ask you, hold me to this. Keep me honest and keep me grounded. So that, my friends, is essentially that. Keep your eyes peeled and you should see some gameplay soon. Send in your comments and suggestions and make sure you, that you do all the algo loving stuff. You know how it is. Like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, hit that bell to know whenever new content is published. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the future. Game on, lovelies.